when you try to share a file or a folder or even a SharePoint site with external users, you might have seen an error which basically says your organization do not allow you to share with these users. Well, that's because the external sharing is not actually enabled on your SharePoint sites. Well, in this video, we're going to have a look how to enable the external sharing and what other options are there for sharing your site with the external users. Well, this activity has to be performed by your SharePoint admins. So we have to log on to the SharePoint admin center. So I'm currently logged on to the SharePoint admin center. Now on the SharePoint admin center to go to the sharing settings, I'll click on the policies and click on sharing, right? And that will take us to the external sharing page. Now this external sharing page is basically um, global configuration for all of your SharePoint sites, right? Um, this is kind of organizational um, level settings, uh, external sharing settings uh, for your SharePoint and OneDrive. Um, what it means is you can actually configure all of these settings. Uh, for example, you know, currently it is set to most permissive. You can change it to new and existing guest or, you know, to existing guest or maybe not allowed sharing at all, right? Um, if you notice when I change this, the OneDrive sharing is also changing with that one, right? So this is um, kind of dependent on the SharePoint as well because essentially OneDrive for business is a SharePoint site, um, the backend, right? So um, if I change the SharePoint um, settings to let's say, for example, new and existing guests, then the OneDrive setting also changes to new and existing guests. I won't be able to change it to anyone, but I can change it to, you know, kind of the lower levels, which is existing guests or, you know, don't allow sharing at all. Um, so let's talk about the sharing settings first, and then we'll talk about the extra individual site sharing, which can then, you know, um, be managed uh, individually based on what we um, set here as global settings. So for example, right now, this is set to anyone. Uh, which is the most permissive external sharing option that we currently have, right? What happens with anyone is your users can basically share, um, you know, those files or folders or, or sites. When they try to share it, they actually get a link. They can even copy that link in an email and send it to external users. Now, external users can actually click on that link and they, they get access to the site. Those external users can also share the link to someone else. And, you know, whoever has that link would be able to access your site. So this is kind of most permissive settings. And I personally wouldn't recommend having this setting enabled unless you have a specific requirement for that. What I would suggest is to actually keep it to the new and existing guests. With the new and existing guests, when your users try to share a document, obviously um, they can share it with any new and existing guests, which means if they want to share with someone external users who you know have never been um, into your um, Azure AD environment, they haven't accessed anything, they don't exist at all. Your users will be able to share you know any files or folders or sites with those users, but then those users when they try to access the site, they will be required to authenticate, right? With the anyone option, there is no authentication required. Um, and the third option is about existing guests. So basically, if you don't want to uh, share um, sites with the new users, then you can just keep it to existing guests only, which means um, the external users will need to be provisioned as guest users in your Azure AD first, and then you will be able to share with them. And the third obviously is, you know, if you don't want to allow sharing at all. So let's keep it to new and existing guests so that uh, you know, this is at least not the most permissive setting and this gives a chance for your users to basically share these documents with any new external users as well, right? Um, if we go further down, then there is actually more external sharing settings. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can limit the external sharing by domain and you can actually allow only specific users to share externally, right? Um, and then, you know, there is another setting which basically says guests must sign in using the same account to which the sharing invitations are sent. So if you have shared a file or a folder, let's say to someone's Gmail account and they try to sign in, 
then they have to basically use that email to sign in which means the authentication code will be sent to that particular email and then they have to click on that email to sign in um, into your environment to access any files and then you have you know allow guests to share items that they don't own so which means um, if you want to allow your guests to share any files uh, you know from um, your document libraries to anyone else if they don't own those documents then they won't be able to share those documents so that's that setting is um, setting is about the next one is about the guest access to a site or OneDrive will expire automatically so if you have shared um, with someone then you can actually limit um, the link expiry so you can basically keep the link open for 60 days or you can change it to 30 days so depending upon you know what your um, policies are in your organization you can basically set these settings and the next one is about people who use a verification code must re-authenticate after a number of days. So which is essentially saying if someone has already authenticated and you want them to authenticate again after 30 days, um, you can actually enable this setting, which is actually a good practice if you are working with a lot of external um, users and you know, you're know sharing a lot of documents with those users. Um, so we won't, we won't tick any of this because uh, we we're just looking at the external sharing you know how to enable the sharing for your SharePoint sites um, the next one is about files and folder links now these are basically just the default options uh, what your users see when they try to share any documents right and they can be um, basically selected by your users um, so for example when your users try to share a document um, right now they will only see only people in your organization as a default option but they can click on it and they can change it to specific people as well so they have that option so this is only about you know putting the default option for your uh, users anyone with the link is um, disabled because we do not allow anyone um, you know um, configuration or setting and the next one is about choose the permission that select by sharing links so this is the default permission levels you know the external users get whether by default they get to choose the view or edit but again this can be changed by your users when they try to basically share any documents or files with the external users in SharePoint so um, so let's say once you have configured that we we are happy with that you know um, new and existing guests so that's all good and we're going to just click on save now once you have your global setting configured for external sharing, then what you admins need to do is basically go to the sites where you want to enable the external sharing. So for example, they click on active sites and I have um, a site here, which is basically called the perspective. For example, I click on this site and we click on settings. Now, the default sharing setting for this site is only people in your organization, right? Which means I can only share with the people in my organization only. But let's just change this setting. If we click on more settings and we want to change this to new and existing guests, right? So this is how the individual site settings can be actually configured. So if, if I, let's say I want to keep this to existing guests only and I want, I'll go back to the site I have right now, okay? Uh, let's just say I want to try and share it with someone who is not in my organization and I want to share it with um, a Gmail account, for example, all right? So I type in the email address. Once I do that, and actually gives me an error which basically say your organization policies do not allow to share with these users that's because the policy for this particular site says that i can only share with the existing guests and that toshit b50 is not an existing guest um you know in our environment so we want to enable sharing so that our users can actually share documents or files with any you know new users as well so we're going to change that to new and existing guests and um, these are the default sharing link settings and this is kind of inheriting from the organizational level settings 
So if we want to change it, we can untick this and we can basically say, you know, people with existing access or only people in your organization. But if you want to keep it the same as the organization level settings, that's also fine because when your users try to share it, they will be able to then basically, you know, select these options, uh, different options. All of these options will be available to them, uh, but not the anyone with the link option. Okay, so let's just save this and see um, what it does to our uh, SharePoint site. So, um, oh, sorry, we wanted to keep it to new and existing guests and click save. So that's now set to new and existing guests. Now I'll go back to the SharePoint site. Let's just refresh it. And um, let's just try to share it with that Gmail address again. All right, so I'll click on those dots, share, and I want to share it. So thought should be 50 at gmail.com. So this time I can basically add this email address or this external user and share with them, right? Although it does tells me that this user is basically outside of your organization, which is great. Now by default, it actually giving a read permissions, right? If I want, I can actually change it to the edit permissions as well, or I can give the, these users full control as well to the site. Um, because I'm the site owner, so I can give them full control, but depending upon what sort of security you have, if you are not the site owner, you might not get full control or you know other um, options. Um, for example, edit mode um, access to these users. So this is how you basically enable external sharing uh, for your SharePoint sites. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, uh, please put them in the comment box below. And I hope to see you again. Thank you for watching.